Mandy and I are coming from a place of sharing our mistakes, which we do have experience on. And so we do have the authority on saying like, definitely don't go down this route. Don't go down this road. And we have so much that we want to share from what we've learned personally. We're not saying that we know everything. I honestly think that I could be in this job for 10 years or even 20 years and still not know everything because there's so much to learn. But we do want to talk about what we do know. And we do want to help other authors to feel just more comfortable with marketing, more excited about marketing. And we want to help other authors to start selling more books. Hi guys, happy release day for the third book in the marketing series, Book Sales That Multiply. Don't mind me that I'm using a proof copy <laughs> instead of the actual copy. Just pretend that bar doesn't exist. <laughs> um, I am so excited for today's video to talk about the whole series. I want to talk about why Mandy and I decided to write the Marketing for Authors series. I want to talk about our authority. Uh, I want to talk about what we personally know about marketing. And I just want to talk about marketing for authors in general, like actual authors marketing, not the series marketing for authors, although that too. And then I want to talk about our readers, the people we are writing these books for, the people that we are talking to when we talk about the mistakes that we've made, um, the things that we've picked up along the way, things that we had no idea about. And so yeah, let me just really quick before I get into all that, the authority and our heart for you guys, I want to talk about what's in each of these books right here. Um, so book one in the series is How Your Book Sells Itself. This one's kind of like your introduction to marketing. It's the one where we talk about your book cover and your back blurb and your tagline and your keywords and your categories and your um, even your editing and just everything that goes into making a book actually sell well on its own, like do the work for you of selling itself. Um, so there's 10 ways specifically we talk about in here and we include talking about your author mindset and marketing mindset. So that's book one. Book two is grow your author platform. And this you'll see that Mandy has a tagline on this that says generating book sales with your website, email marketing, blogging, YouTube, and Pinterest using content marketing. So she's teaching you a ton about content marketing. Um, I chime in with stuff too. If you guys haven't noticed that we actually, as we're writing these books, we are, one person is the author and the other person, the co-author, it's with that person because that person writes the um, end of chapter stuff and they chime in on things, but there's like one main author for each of the books. And we uh, originally were gonna take turns and then I screwed up the process and we actually flipped the two books. So I was supposed to do uh, the third book and I was so like sidetracked by the stolen kingdom that we decided Mandy and I were like hey you know what why don't we flip the two and so Mandy is also the main author on this one and she's talking about in the book that releases today things like paid ads um, Amazon Facebook and even Instagram a little bit um, Goodreads giveaways ebook promotions using newsletter swaps working with other authors working with other book companies um, and especially she also focuses on your ideal reader in this one which we've been wanting to do for a while and I really think it fits perfectly in this book it leads up to everything else in the book so this is really cool and then Mandy and I talked about finally revealing today uh, the next book in the series, which again was supposed to be book three, but I screwed up. The fourth book that is now going to be following these guys is actually going to be on social media, selling on social media. Uh, we don't have the title, we don't have the tagline, all I have is an outline at this moment. And so normally on our release dates, we've been introducing the next book, like cover, title, and release day. In this case, we do not have a release day for book four. Full transparency for you guys. I've just been too busy. So book four and five are on me. And then book six is Mandy's book again. And so I think she's already written book six and I just have the bare bones of book four and five. Uh, so full transparency, like I said, we have just been having such a good time, like winging it. So I really appreciate that about Mandy. She has said in her videos that she's a pantser. Um, I actually kind of am too. I'm more of a pantser than I realized. And so taking that approach for releases has actually been really fun. And having somebody also support you has been 
so cool to not do things on your own to basically take turns like for each of these books one person writes it the next person edits it for them like reads it back and edits it or actually maybe it goes through an edit or two before we send it out to each other but then the opposite person gets to read through and edit it and then the original author you know like Mandy or I we will take it and we'll implement those edits we'll tweak it some more and then we'll send it back for proofreading and so we've each been proofreading for each other and editing for each other and also writing for each other so we're including you know each other's writing in all three of them so anyway this is just the cool history behind this if you guys want a video on co-writing I think Mandy and I would both love to do that for you guys at some point. Um, so it's been really, really cool to co-write in this way. It's very unique. Um, I don't know anybody else who co-writes this way, but it's working fantastic for us. Um, except, like I said, when I broke down the system <laughs> and I did not get book four done in time to put it in the back of this third book. It's gonna be about selling specifically. So look forward to that. Uh, look forward to book five and six, which we're not gonna tell you just yet. Um, although you can guess in the comments if you want to. But that is why Mandy and I just really wanted to mention that that's why none of these books have social media because that's a book on its own. And we've been dying to tell you guys that, but I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Mandy didn't want to ruin the surprise. So now you know. That's why there's no social media in Grow Your Author platform because this is more platform like website and newsletter and like content marketing, like Mandy said. Um, some of the stuff in this book does apply to social media. Some of the stuff in this book applies to social media. So they do get touched on a little bit, but not a lot. So there you go. Look how cute they look on the spine. Again, please ignore the barcode I happened to be grab. I grabbed my proof copies. <laughs> But look how cute they are together. They're gonna be a rainbow, by the way, in case you guys didn't catch that in our other release videos. <laughs> okay, so that's what they're about, but then let's talk about the reason that Mandy and I wrote these books, which is what I'm making this video about today. And that is ultimately because um, we have learned a lot, so we have a lot of authority in some areas that we didn't used to have, but also we've made a lot of mistakes, which I will talk about. And so, just the idea of being able to help other authors skip those mistakes is huge. Like just being able to tell other authors like, hey, this is what I've done. It was a huge mistake. Be really careful of that and don't do that. Or in other instances, you know, like with book three, like this book is like, hey, ads are not that scary. Ads do help you sell your book. Ads help your book reach a whole new audience that your, you know, social media just doesn't have because your social media, you're like drawing people to you and then ads are actually putting the book in front of total strangers faces. And so talking about how to do that well. Um, but anyway, we've learned a lot. I read somewhere when I was first getting started publishing. I know I've said this before on my channel, but I... I almost didn't do indie publishing um, because I read this stat and I don't know where it was. It was like three years ago now, but I read this uh, online that said average indie authors sell between 90 to 100 books ever, like in the entire lifespan of their career, ever, all books ever, <laughs> 90 to 100 books. And so like when I found that out, um, and I talk about this in old videos, I might have taken them down, but the, the short version is um, I told myself and my husband and my family that um, I wasn't gonna pursue indie publishing unless I could sell at least 100 books before my release date. And so I did that. I sold over 100 books before my release date, and Mandy also sold 100 books plus on her release day. And so both of us, when we talked about that, we were like, the reason that we sold that many is marketing. 100%. Um, you cannot, like good marketing is just talking about your book, getting the word out there and then helping other people to get the word out there. Um, something that I talk about a lot in this book is that good marketing is basically just word of mouth. It is reviews and it is searches. If you're getting people talking about it, that's word of mouth. If they're searching for it on Amazon or Facebook, there's your searches and then reviews are what, you know, like again, it's kind of word of mouth, but it's people talking about your book and saying it's worth reading. So I won't repeat the whole book, but we talk about that a lot. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that my heart for you guys is just to say that whether you buy these books or not, um, marketing is not scary. 
I just like I just want to encourage other authors so much that marketing doesn't have to be this big bad you know it doesn't have to be this scary intense overwhelming thing in fact again something I talk about in this book a lot is that you really just need to pick three things just three focuses you can get rid of all the other stuff because there are a lot of different marketing tactics out there and there's too many for one person and that is why most of us get overwhelmed is because there's just too much so another thing when Mandy and I wrote this series is our heart was to basically lay out all the options for you but also lay out the the um, background behind them or the ROI behind them which is return on investment and let you know like is this right for you is this right for you and your book and is this where you should be spending your money and investing your money so I'm getting so excited about it because the thing is like like I said our heart is to show you that marketing is not that hard to show you that it is okay to fail at it and to show you how we failed and what we learned from it the coolest thing about marketing is that if you learn to do it right and if you're willing to put the time into it that it takes to learn things and figure out your specific style and what's right for your book um, you could do extremely well. Um, there are some indie authors out there like Chris Fox and Sarah Cannon from Heart Breathings that are doing fantastic. Mandy and I are not claiming to have sold millions like these guys yet, but you never know, that day could still come. I feel like Chris Fox and Sarah Cannon and the, the indies who do sell millions, they're just as much of a um, kind of a unicorn, I guess you could say, as in traditional publishing, the authors who make it really big. That doesn't mean that the other authors, like same thing in traditional publishing as in indie publishing, it doesn't mean that the other authors aren't doing extremely well and aren't, you know, amazing writers. So you are an amazing writer you have the opportunity as an indie author to do really well. And so whether you choose to buy your marketing books or not, I don't care. I just want you to know that you can figure out marketing. It is not that hard and it will help your book so, so, so much. I hope that encourages you. That is our heart behind why we wrote Marketing for Authors is just to encourage you guys and give you, just like lay out all the options. I'll just end this video by saying again, please be patient with me uh, for book four, the selling on social media and book five and book six, which also cover some really important topics. I just don't have time right now. <laughs> um, my goal in this moment is to write both books during NaNoWriMo in November and then start editing and publishing them right after that. So now I want to point you to Mandy's channel and I'm going to link her video below because she has a video all about what is actually in this book and why you need this information that is in this particular book. She's going to talk about that on her channel. So I will link it below. Go check it out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.